Welcome back to my channel, Cord Cutting and Sports. And this video is just going to um, basically be an update on how to download replays of ESPN Plus events uh, because there's uh, something that changed in the process in order to get high quality uh, files. And this happened uh, basically, I started noticing it around the middle to end of November. So I'm not going to go through the whole process of showing you how to download uh, ESPN Plus events with um, either YouTube DL or Streamlink um, in this video. If you'd like to see how to do those, uh, the full process from start to finish, please go look at my other videos. The links will be in the uh, descriptions of this video. This is just to basically kind of highlight the change that has occurred, and then I'm just going to uh, quickly demonstrate that, yes, um, <clears throat> the little trick that I'm using here does in fact work. Okay, so uh, if you've watched my other videos on ESPN+, Plus, um, then you're probably familiar with the whole process where first you have to identify the M3 U8 URL and you also have to get an authorization cookie and so on. So the thing that's changed is that when you put M3 U8 in the filter box on the de web developer tools page, whether you're in Firefox or Chrome or whatever, um, the options that come up now that you see here are all very low, very poor quality. Okay, so if you just use these um, <clears throat> URLs, these M3U8 URLs, and you put them into the command line for either Streamlink or YouTube DL, the file you're gonna, file you're gonna get is gonna have a low bit rate and also a low, um, you know, uh, basically height and width, basically low overall size. It's not gonna be the nice full HD quality file um, you know, whether it's uh, 720p, I think most, I think 720p is probably the highest it goes, but um, it's not going to be that full quality, uh, high quality HD um, file that we want. So here's what you have to do. Here's the basically the trick. Okay, take, uh, and before I begin, this, this works generally, I've noticed, for live events and for new programming that's released. For example, like NFL Primetime comes out every week. This works for that show as well. Um, it may or may not work for like old, you know, older series um, shows that were, you know, released uh, previously. But for live events, you know, replays of those and like newly weekly produced shows, it does work. Okay, so all we have to do is copy... Uh, say this URL here, um, this one which has the number in it, 1200. You could also use the 451, but I, I'm going to use the 1200. Okay, so we copy this URL right like we normally would, and now when I paste it, what you have to do is change this 1200K to 7000K. So really all I'm doing is changing the 12 to a 70, just leaving the two other zeros. You do that in two spots. Um, you do it here, you change 1200K to 7000K, and then here you just change 1200 to 7000. Leave everything else the same, and the rest of the process is identical to how it works in the other videos. So just to demonstrate that it'll work, and then this, you know, I said this is going to be just a short video, not going through the process step by step. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead um, and start downloading this because I already have the command line, um, you know, typed out here. I've already pasted the URL uh, with the 7000 in it, you know, up here. This is for YouTube DL, YouTube DL command line. And I already have the uh, copy and pasted the authorization cookie. So now just to show you and confirm that it will start downloading this uh, 7000 version. And let me just start playing the file first. All right, and now it's downloading it. Notice the size of the file is, you know, it's getting bigger. It'll probably top out somewhere around like six to seven gigs, which that's what we want for a nice high, you know, quality, um, you know, most likely 720p, 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second uh, broadcast. That's not what you're going to get if you use any of these three, you know, M3U8 URLs um, that are shown here. So just keep in mind, this is again an update on for ESPN Plus on how you can grab the highest quality uh, version of replays of events um, just by changing the URL slightly. 
Um, you have any questions, email me. My email will be listed in the description of the video. Um, or reach out to me you know, by leaving a comment down below, but email is usually better. Um, otherwise, check out my other videos on how to download um, or save, record uh, content from other ESPN channels, whether it's live events or replays, um, including ESPN3, regular you know, ESPN, ESPN2, or the Fox channels, or Tennis Channel Plus, or um, other things like CBS Sports Network, and I also have a new video coming out soon on NFL Network as well. Thanks. Bye.